All right, guys, so today I am going to be uh, going over the Ferrari 599XX Evolution. I completely butchered that name, but I can't pronounce Italian words right. Some, but like Lamborghini, Lamborghini, I guess. All right, anyways, so we're gonna use this. Or do a time trial with it and as you can see this is built for racing and we're on a racetrack um so it's got a six liter v12 it's rear wheel drive and we've already managed to spin it out as you can see, it's got that gigantic wing and diffuser on it. Yeah, I know, I'm a bad driver, don't, don't hate on me. So, it is very, like, it's very slidey. As you can see, well, if I can get on the track, it's very slidey. Making it hard for me to control it. Hold on a second. All right. That makes it a lot harder to control with it being slidey. The best handling car in the game is probably the McLaren P1 GTR. Um, it barely slides, um, depending on how you do it. Like, when you get on the throttle and when you get off the throttle and when you're using the two extra features. I don't know, like DRS and what I and I the way I like to call it is hers because it's K E R S. There's that tire right there that I knocked over. So, whoops, I forgot. This time, instead of a 108, I got a 105. The world record is 56 seconds. But who knows how that happened. Steering wheel, maybe? I didn't realize that that was tight, or it wasn't tight. And all you Xbox 360 players, don't go hating on me for playing Drive Club. This is the most realistic game you can get. I'm not joking. Well then. It's like grip, weight, horsepower, all that stuff. This is the best game you can get. Forza is more of a simulator than like a kind of arcadey, like your car will go flying if you do something. If you jump off a hill, your car will go flying about a hundred, look like like five hundred feet. Um, but in Drive Club and the rollovers, it's easy to do that in Forza. But since Drive Club is um, try is based on getting the most realism out of their game, it is hard to actually have a rollover. I've only had a couple ever. It's very hard to get. 
I mean, if you're in online multiplayer and there's some crazy idiot driving, then they're probably going to roll. And there's a bad run. I'm just around this. No, it won't work. And I'm in the grass. So the best time I've got so far is that 105 time which is still crap but really this is the best simulator that's like got real simulation. Now I know Forza simulates tire wear damage and you're stuck being broken if you put it, if you set it to simulation mode. But there is no simulation mode on here because it's already simulating the wrecks and the grip and horsepower and weight so there's no room or there's not room there's uh otherwise it would make the game bigger to make a full simulation mode and a lot longer to make just to add the full simulation mode Otherwise, if they decided to do that, it would it probably would have been too much and Drive Club never would have come out. And all you Xbox, or aka crap box, nah, just kidding. Um, I really actually won't want to play Forza, just, just so you know. Um, like just damage and tire wear and stuff. There's not really much being simulated in Forza. Oh, and also this has uh, side exhaust, if you saw that flame. And it's completely dark. We have been driving for so long that it is the middle of the night in the game. <gasps> Look, I slid a lot. It's a lot harder to see. Oh. Yeah, it's bad ring. Anyways, so I got a 103, or no, 102.33, which is the best I can get right now and we're gonna compare that to the p1 gtr i gotta remember that one oh okay just 102 oh oops oh that barely leveled up all right so now that we've done that, we're gonna see what kind of time we can get on, um, get on that same track with the P1 GTR. Right here. As you can see, drifting is way down and handling is way up there and it's got racing slicks, which helps a lot. And there's the DRS and DRS is basically a, an adjustment to the spoiler. 
and the spoiler. You can see it, it's pretty obvious. Right there. And then the curse, just so you know, that's what I call it. If you didn't hear me the first time I said it, um, it's basically kind of like nitrous, and but it help, but it helps out in acceleration, just acceleration instead of acceleration and top speed, which I'm guessing nitrous does. I don't really know a lot about it, so let's go ahead and get to it with the GTR. It's full race car. We got the racing wheel and everything. Hi. F McLaren F1 racing wheel is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. It's got a V8 twin turbo. I didn't check what, how big it was. But. As you can see, I'm not sliding as much. And if you see me, like, kind of like, I'm throttle, I'm using the, I'm doing throttle control through the corner so I can get better times. You all should try it. Basically, you just, you just adjust your throttle like that. So 103. I think I can do better than that. And if you get like too slow and you kind of get on the throttle a lot, then you'll um, slide and spin the tires like I just did. Right, quick stop. Throttle my way through. Well, I just went full throttle right there. That's not really throttling. Well, first gear, don't want that. Just a quick look, what's the world record? Global, hmm. Uh, top 50, uh, it's 54 seconds. All right. Basically top 50 is the top 50 players. I'm at technically a thousand. And this is for the this is for the car. Um, let's see. The P1 is 55. Hold on. Okay, you know what? Okay. So 54 seconds with this is the record. So let's try our best to do it. Ah, that didn't turn out well. I think you heard the turbo blow off valve right there. All right, this was a very bad run.
think I took that racing line like a bounce. Definitely not.